Well, hello friends from my car. We are filming a YouTube video in my car because that's what professional YouTubers do. No, in all reality, I have no idea what professional YouTubers do. I don't even know who allowed me to have this job, but here we are. If you're not following me over on Instagram, which is definitely not a shameless plug to follow me on Instagram, but it is a shameless plug to follow me on Instagram, uh, you may not know, but I'm currently doing a huge renovation on the back end of my house. And as it turns out, renovations are quite noisy. And as it turns out, filming YouTube videos and very noisy, they just don't, they don't go hand in hand. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just use this as an excuse. I'm gonna go get a coffee. This is the new, uh, I don't even, what do they even call these things? Iced toasted vanilla oat shaken espresso? Is that the right thing? I don't know. I got one yesterday and they're delicious. 10 out of 10, I recommend. So I convinced myself, I was like, you know what? If you go film in your car, you can get an overpriced coffee. And that's really all it takes me to convince me to do anything, really. And then I drove around awkwardly in my town trying to find a good spot to park where there was some shade but I, it also wasn't like people walking in and out of stores cause that would be awkward. Um, and I found this random back parking lot and I know it's actually a good spot because there's a truck next to me that's a landscaping truck and the guy's having lunch there. So this is obviously like, this is a hip parking lot for parking and just doing random stuff, which is what I'm doing. Also, I feel like I should let you know, you know, while we're talking about what professional YouTubers do, that you are currently propped up on a thing of baby wipes. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna take a picture so that you can see. There you are. Wow, that's how professional YouTubers take videos. Okay, but in all seriousness, we are here today to talk about the linen closet. And I say linen closet, I've actually never lived in a home that has a linen closet. I don't know what that's like. If you have one, leave a comment down below. Anyways, I'm rambling. Today is gonna be, there's gonna be some rambling. I've had, this is my third coffee. Anyways, anyways, anyways. For those of you who have followed me for a little bit of time, I like to share organization. I like to share decluttering stuff, just ways to make your life easier and simpler. And I've just slowly been in the process of learning to be a more organized adult. The man who was having his lunch just got out of the car. He's looking at me. He's like, what is this woman doing? You know, there are a lot of things that I have learned how to tackle and take care of and get more organized on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And there are still lots of things in my life that I just haven't been able to get a control on. And one is the linen closet. If you're like me, there's a good chance that your linen closet looks like this, which is just, you know, you try to fold some stuff, but nothing really stays organized. It just kind of like falls apart. How do you even fold a fitted sheet. <laughs> I don't know. Now, the first thing I did is probably what a lot of you do because you are here is I went to YouTube and I started YouTubing. YouTubing? Do we use that as a verb? I hope that. I mean, I do. I went to YouTube and I just started watching some videos of folding sheets as one does. I will link some of the ones that I really liked down below. And I really wanted to learn how to do a couple of things. One, I finally wanted to learn how to fold a fitted sheet because gosh darn it, I know people can do it. I am 33 years old. I turned 34. Do I turn 34? Shit, how old am I? I think I turned 34 on Friday. Maybe it's 35. I don't know. After 30, they all blend together. But I am somewhere between the age of 33 and 35. And I feel like I should know how to fold a fitted sheet. I also just wanted to learn some different methods that people use for storing things in their linen closet. And so what I've done and what I'm going to share with you guys today is a method that I feel like is finally going to keep my linen closet together. Okay, so let me show you how I finally learned to master the fitted sheet. Doesn't seem like anything you should fold. There's no corners. It doesn't seem right, but there's a way to do it, okay? Start with your fitted sheet inside out. And then what you're going to do is look for two corners. And I don't think it necessarily matters if you're doing a short side or a long side, but for the sake of this tutorial, I chose long sides. Essentially what you're looking for is the seam of the corner, and then you wanna take your little fingers and make a little pinchy, you know, little pinches pinch your fingers like a lobster or just a human being with two pinching fingers. You wanna take your hand and you wanna pinch at the final corner of each one, pinch at the corner. So now you are holding one corner in your right hand, you're holding one corner in your left hand. You are then going to bring the right corner over to the left corner using your left hand. You're going to pinch, so you're now holding both corners and you're going to fold the right corner over the left corner. To check that everything is done right, you should be holding 
two corners in your hand and the two seams should be lined up along the top together. What's most important with this method of folding fitted sheets is that the two corners and the seams are now together. Things are gonna look kind of like a jumbled mess at the bottom. You're probably gonna start sweating right about this time. If you're like me, you're like, this can't, I'm not doing this right. You are, just stick with me, okay? Things are still messy. Work your way down to the bottom of the sheet area a little bit and you're just going to take anything that's still inside out and make it right side out. Is it right side out? Whatever. Then you're going to pass what's in your left hand over to your right hand. It's just easier to work this way. You are going to go down to the bottom of the sheet and you're going to look for the two other corners. Now you're not going inside the sheet to do this. So you're gonna be working from the back of the sheet, the part of the sheet that's the closest to you and find that corner. And then you are going to just reach through to grab the other corner as well. And you'll actually find the two corners have probably kind of found each other. So they're probably kind of nested and close to one another. But again, the point is your pincher finger is going to be grabbing both corners and you're going to be lifting it up. So now you're going to have two corners in your right hand with the seams on top of each other. You're gonna have two corners pinched in your left hand with the seams on top of them. And then again, you are going to bring your right hand over to your left hand. Now with your left hand, you're going to pinch all four corners and fold over the top. Again, we can check that we've got this right because now you'll have all four corners pinched in your left hand all four seams should be sort of essentially stacked on top of one another. So if you got those four corners and those four seams together, you are great and it's time to move down to the ground. You're essentially going to take what you have and sort of lay it flat. And this is the second time in this folding method that you probably are quite sure that you are doing things wrong. Just stick with it, okay? It's gonna come together. At this point, kind of don't worry too much about where the fitted edge is, we're gonna move over to the opposite corner and you're gonna be able to make this into sort of more of a right triangle. So don't worry too much about the bunched end and sort of focus on the other edge, getting a nice 90 degree angle, if you will, out of your sheet. And then just sort of place the rest of the sheet as you go to create as much of a rectangle as you can. So we're gonna start start from the edge that has the most like bunching. We're gonna fold the whole thing into thirds the long way, the hot dog way. Um, so you're gonna fold it over once, just you know, pressing nicely as you go. You wanna do this on a hard surface. Trust me, folding on a hard surface is a thousand times easier. And then you're going to fold it over one more time, press it nice again to get it as flat as you can. Then you're going to start from the end that has the most like excess fabric. Again, where those corners are, where that excess bunching is, you're going to fold over once and then you're going to fold over again. And there you go, guys. You have successfully folded a fitted sheet. I cannot tell you how many times, how much sweat and tears, maybe not tears, but definitely some curse words were involved in me learning how to fold a fitted sheet but now I know how. But the second problem is with my sheet collections is they often are like socks and they end up apart from one another, right? I've got one fitted sheet. I'm like, where's the top sheet that goes with this? Where are the matching pillowcases? So I did a little YouTubing, as I said, and I found a couple different methods and I kind of married them together to create a method that works really great for me that essentially allows me to take two pillowcases, a fitted sheet and a top sheet and put them all together into like a little package. So everything is nice and organized and where it needs to be. You already got your fitted sheet folded, great. Now you're gonna just fold two pillowcases, fold from the top, from the top again, fold in half, put it with the fitted sheet. And now what we're going to do is package it all together using the top sheet. So I feel like, you know, folding a top sheet, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna fold it in half, bringing two corners together. I'm then going to go down to find the other two corners, make sure they're matching fold that in half again. And then, you know, I've got a nice little rectangle, which I'm going to fold into thirds. I am then going to place my little package of fitted sheet with pillowcases on top of my long skinny rectangle of top sheet. And then essentially what I'm gonna do is fold it up into this to create one little package. Everything's organized together. And now for literally the first time in my entire life, I have all four sets of my sheets organized with the matching pillowcases and the top sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these away into my linen closet. Now, if you're like me, you probably have just like some random leftover pillowcases. I don't know why do we always have extra pillowcases, 
I'm not sure, but I do. This is probably a good time to go ahead and declutter. Um, I found that I had a couple sets of two, and then I had a couple random mismatched ones that didn't match. It was time for those ones to go. But I found a really great way to store excess pillowcases in just any like spare basket you have. So what you're gonna do, any storage bin you have, it doesn't matter what size, because I'm gonna show you how to make it match the size you need. So I have this wicker basket, it's gonna work great. So you're gonna start by taking your pillowcase, Fold it the hot dog way. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's just a little bit smaller than the bin that you wanna put it in. So you can see here the pillowcase that I have, it overhangs a little bit. So when I fold it, it's not gonna lay in there nice. So you could of course always fold it again, but in my case, it would then be a little too small for my bin. So a little trick I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna open it all the way and I'm gonna fold over one corner just a little bit to make the final fold a little bit thinner. And now I can see it's gonna fit inside my basket really nice. I'm gonna fold it in half once, fold it in half again, and now it's going to stack right into my bin very, very nicely. And I'm just gonna fold all of the rest of my pillowcases exactly the same way. And I cannot tell you how extremely satisfying this is to see all of the pillowcases folded so nicely. I love folding things this way. If you guys have watched before, this is generally how I fold all of my t-shirts, my sweaters, my kids' clothes. I love folding things vertically like this because you can see them all as opposed to folding things and stacking them upward because then you have to pull things out to get what's underneath, which causes mess. So now I've got all of my spare pillowcases folded in a way that makes them really easy to grab when I need them without making a mess when I access it. Because again, I think the biggest issue with a linen closet is you can get it organized, but then the minute you need something from it, you know, if things are folded and they're sort of stacked vertically, you're gonna like lose the organization that you have in order to grab it. Like if I had a bunch of sheets and pillowcases and they were all just stacked like this, it would look really nice until I needed the sheet that was here. Right, because now I gotta take this stuff out to get that sheet set, I put it back, it's never gonna look quite as nice as it did the first time. So really the goal with this linen closet reorg is not just to organize it, but to make it so that I can get into the linen closet, I can take something I need without disturbing the other stuff that's in there, right? So the way I've organized my sheets, right, they're now in these little packages, I can just grab one, it's not gonna mess with the other ones. Same with my spare pillowcases, I can easily go in here and grab one, I can see them all, and I'm not gonna mess up the rest of them when I grab one. Now the final shelf we have was the shelf on top. It had some random extra towels, specifically our beach towels, and I had them folded, which again was fine. It looked okay. They looked really nice again until I needed one of the towels. And then, you know, it the organization starts to fall apart. So I decided instead a way better way to fold these towels, which I've done before. I don't know why I never thought to do it here, is to fold them like spa towels. Now when you fold something like a spa towel, you essentially end up with a little packaged roll towel and these are so great because you can easily grab one and it holds its form so you can grab it run to the bathroom grab it throw it in your beach bag and when you grab it whichever one you grab you're not disturbing any of the other towels foldings they're all gonna maintain their shape when they're in the spa roll so let me show you how to fold a towel as a spa roll. You're gonna start by laying it out flat and you're going to take the short end and you're gonna fold it over to the long end to essentially create like a triangle shape. And then you're gonna fold everything hot dog way. Flip this entire thing over and starting from the non-triangle side, you're going to roll up. You're gonna roll nice and tight, as tight as you can. It's going to help the towel maintain its form. Roll all the way up. When you get to the end, you're gonna have just the little corner of the triangle and you're just going to tuck it into one of the folds. And now you've got a nice spa towel. Again, what's so great about these is they maintain their shape. So you throw it in your beach bag, you grab towels out of the linen closet, you're not messing up the other ones because they're all able to hold on and maintain their shape. And then there you guys have it. I finally feel like I have found systems that really conquer this linen closet in a way that is going to be maintainable, it's going to stay organized, and it solves all the problems that I needed it to solve, mainly that the structure of it is not going to fall apart anytime I need to go in there and find something. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me on this video, specifically just hanging out with me randomly in this back parking lot while we talked about linen closets. Doesn't really make any sense, but we made it work. Together we did, you guys. As always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. Dear Lord has some good stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.